Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing today? So I got a chance to sit down and watch this little Taiwanese movie that Netflix put out called Dear X. And it's a little quirky, it's a little bit weird, but immediately after I got done watching it, there were three movies that I thought of immediately. The first movie I thought of was Juno, because it's basically about a kid who's dealing with some shit that's kind of above his maturity level, and he also has this real snarky attitude about everything. And the other two movies were About a Boy and that movie The Descendants with George Clooney. Now, I would hazard to say that if you don't mind reading subtitles and you've seen any number of those three movies, then this movie is probably going to be somewhat enjoyable for you. But if you haven't seen or heard of any of those three movies, then you might be rolling the dice a little bit when you watch this movie. But you know what? Just try it out. But anyway, the basic plot of the movie is it's about a man who has passed away and he's leaving behind his wife and his teenage son. However, the kicker about that is dad was secretly gay and he also had a male lover, or as I call him, a manstress. And then you come to find out that before the dad passed away, he signed off his life insurance policy to the manstress. And then you can probably figure out the mom's pretty pissed off and then the kid is honestly just trying to figure out exactly where he stands in all this because he's really confused. And the movie's basically just about the kid trying to figure that shit out. And that right there is probably the best part about this movie is that this movie did a really Really good job of portraying what it's like to be a kid and when you're dealing with shit that you have no idea how to like process it because at that point your emotions are just running wild most of the time in a negative way and you're just struggling to understand and figure out how you feel and also at the same time probably being over dramatic because let's be honest we've all been that age and most of our emotions were probably not the most logical in the world <laughs> the only real negatives that i have about the movie are this kind of play that the manstress is putting on it just kind of came off kind of goofy and weird and i just kind of like i don't know it just wasn't my thing really and also i'm I'm not sure if it's a bad thing, but there's one part of the ending that I just really, I don't think I was a fan of. There was a moment about 10 minutes before the movie ended that I thought was probably the most important part of the movie, and that was great, but then the very, very last part, I did... I don't know. I, just, I don't know if it makes sense or not. And also, not often, but like once or twice I thought the pacing got a little goofy and I just felt a little bored. But usually when that happened, it picked up pretty quick immediately after. But yeah, besides all that, uh, this is actually kind of a nice little movie. Because like I said, the kid is super snarky and comedy is a little bit of a nuanced thing that sometimes you need to speak the language in order to understand when something's funny. But some of the time, just the dialogue alone that the kid had was funny. Because like, this is the kind of shit that I would say when I was his age, you know? I don't know if that makes me a snarky asshole, but yeah, it is what it is. And the movie also did a really good job of getting you to give it shit about the manstress because at the beginning he just feels like this giant asshole that's trying to break up a family but after a while you realize nah there's more to this guy than that and i found myself rather curious as about what was going to happen next with the guy and i thought the movie had a really really cool structure because it was told linearly but it also had a lot of flashbacks to explain certain little things but it didn't dwell on the flashbacks too long and it was the appropriate amount of explanation and exposition that you needed as a viewer to continue with the movie. So yeah, all in all, very enjoyable. The subtitles move a little bit fast every once in a while. But yeah, based on everything I've said, I think for a score out of 10, I think I'm gonna give it an 8.2. I was pleasantly surprised. I did not expect to have as good of a time as I did. And depending on who's watching, this movie might hit you in the feels at some point. Who knows? But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Have you heard of it? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe, to all that other bullshit that makes the channel look good. And I'll catch you guys later.